Nick. I'm part of uh, Team Too Hot Robotics. And this here is Alan. He's just Alan. Alan was originally designed to be part of the Ken and Barbie multi. And it started back last year when the rules around multis were a little bit different. There was a little bit more weight. And with this robot being a little overweight for a, to be a 22 pound multi, I said, screw it, let's just make it a full 30. Very slow moving, but boy, that must be a powerful spinner on that robot. It's a dual vertical spinner. We got a big one in the front and a little guy in the back. One of their interesting features, a smaller spinner around back to counter the gyro of the main spinner. You said that you work with humanoid robots. What's the difference between working with those kind of bots versus combat robotics? Those robots are meant to be helpful. Their primary use case is them in warehouses. I spend a lot of time traveling to warehouses and other material handling industries to set up these robots. Another thing is that these don't fall over, which is really nice. It's one of the most frustrating thing about humanoids is that whenever they fall, you have to check them out fully. Like, oh, is this motor bad? Is this is the gearbox now bad? And then they'll have to get repaired in a much similar way that a combat robotic might be repaired after it gets roof shot in. Alan, are you ready? Fight, robots, fight. The TPU frame on Tsunami is wrapped around the weapon on Allen. They are caught up. This is going to require an unstick. Yeah. We're going to pause the fight here. When they're really stuck together, then we'll give it a try with the safety crowbar. You can see Tsunami's own armor is sucked into their weapon right now. Maybe why it's not spinning. place to put your opponent when you want to win. And a round of applause from the crowd. They appreciate the precision 